before we hit the list at number one, Russ, we do have a mystery mail call, a comic book subscription service I want to make sure the community knows about. The link is in the bio mm-hmm. to sign up. And if you do that, we send you comic books every month in a box with care, packed with love. Absolutely. It's something that we do, and it's the best way that you can support the channel. Absolutely. All right. Looking at the list here. At number one, we have a comic book that has spiked so much this last week. Super interesting stuff. We have The Freshman Force, number one. The Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez Wonder Woman variant making the list, making mainstream news, Russ. Now, this was making mainstream news over a month ago. I mean, I remember getting tagged and people Mm -hmm. talking about this. And again, we got this, you know, freshman senator who's got a comic that they're making about her and Devil's Due Press is releasing it. And we knew that there were a bunch of different variants and they were pre-selling all over the place. And people were tagging about this over a month ago. So this is no surprise, but as high as it is, that's the shocking thing about this. Bleeding Cool reported on it when it was breaking 30 bucks. Mm. There was a cease and desist sent out from DC Comics demanding them be returned, right. being destroyed. So that's 250 books that likely didn't get destroyed that just hit eBay and sold out quick. Then Bleeding Cool hit press again, reporting that it has spiked now to like $200. I'm sitting here today looking at prices exceeding $1,000 right now. Oh, no, Tom. I I looked at eBay right as we sat down. There are buy it nows for $2,000. There are buy it nows for $4,000. Now, we knew that there were only $250 this book made initially. And yes, if anything did get returned and recalled, which we know most sellers won't, they'll put it right on eBay, there could be fewer than $250. But to me, this seems entirely like a speculator market. I don't think anyone is buying this book to sit on for a long-term investment. And in 20 years from now, AOC may very well end up be a $10,000 book. No, I think this is someone trying to jump on the train as fast as possible. Next week. That's it. Like days. So we may be looking at this book possibly dropping significantly next week. I mean, we don't know. But seeing a book spike like this, it's just... It's not precedented, so it's it's interesting. The supply is low. The demand is high. That is going to make this price spike, but eventually we will get to the point where fewer and fewer people want it, mm-hmm. and fewer and fewer people are willing to exchange it at the price that people are willing to pay, and I think this is really just a bubble market. Yes, we have to call it number one this week. Yes, 700 to $1,000 for known sales. It's amazing how expensive this book is but yes this is definitely the epitome of a bubble market right here but you know what when mainstream news gets a hold of comic books Mm -hmm. and just shows the general public it causes the books to spike in ways that you can't imagine it just sometimes it's really small Mm -hmm. sometimes it's the spider woman number one mila minara variant right it makes press people go wild and that book still goes for hundreds of dollars more than it probably would have had press not taken it there. Mm-hmm. 